right, so we were feeling really bad about that we weren't going to be here for the 4th of July, so we decided we would do something really fun and special and involve the people behind the camera that you don't get to see normally. Katie is, uh, obviously you've seen bits and pieces of Katie's face before. And then we got Mary <laughs> who answers all our questions and monitors things and posts things for you guys, links and such. So, and Mary's got to run out of here. She was kind enough to come in very quickly to do this. We're going to do three different pours. Uh, we are going to do, Mary's going to be doing the porcelain paint first. So we'll talk about what Katie and I are doing after Mary goes. So okay. you're going to be, take it away, Mary. Super duper. All right. If you want to just kind of zoom in on her and then we'll, and, and Will is our lovely camera assistant for today. Which this is nice. We I got know, like right? a cute guy filming assistant. It's cool. <laughs> It's better than me. No, no, it's just different. It's, it's different. All right, okay, so what, what you, you're gonna need to do, right. you probably wanna put a little bit more red in there because it's gonna spread and we want it to, and did you do the gold? Oh. Lots of gold. Oh, it is Put, put all that gold Pretty in there, Mary. Gold. It's like sparklers. I was gonna say Star Spangled Banner, but sparkler works better. <laughs> okay. Okay. Now, take, take that, do like one cut across it. Eh. <laughs> it's so pretty. Okay, okay. all right, okay. Put this on top. No, 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 no. Put this on top. <laughs> this is the hard part. And then, the and then flip it, and you're gonna let it set for just a minute. Set it on these blocks here. Or cups. Tower O cups. All right. Let it kind of go down to a point of where. Oh wow, that's taking a minute for the red to get down. Okay. All right. This is with the Mirabu porcelain paint because we oh, liked it so much that Celia there. did. Okay. And then uh, lift when you're ready. Lift up, lift up slow and see what happens. We have to tilt, yeah, here, it vacuum seals ahead. itself oh, sometimes. Oh, it does. Right. Oh. oh my God, you guys. Awesome. Oh. Just kind of take this extra and kind of do the edges do just to, you may want to spatula. Awesome. This is this instant. Oh, look at that pretty white on the <laughs> side. Look at that. Oh my gosh. All right. I think I'm spread out. Okay. I like it with the drippy edges off the block. I That's do too. Cool with that matte turner. That's very cool. Okay. Oh, All right. Pretty guys. Nice. All right. Pretty. Thank you, Mary. Thank you. Woo! Yes. All right. <laughs> I'm gonna go to the dentist. All right. <laughs> so. Uh, so that was with the Mirabu porcelain paints that you guys saw with Celia. So let Katie and I get our uh, our colors mixed for our a little bit more detailed pours and then we'll pick back up. All right, so this is what we're going to be doing. Katie and I have been a little, a little busy. Well, no, no. We've been busy trying to come up with crazy formulas to circumvent necessarily having to use either the GAC 800 or boring medium. So um, there's a lot of different things out there online. And then we kind of invented some of our own, um, some different blends. The pouring that I'm going to be doing is actually with GAC 100. That's the golden product. A third of that. A third of golden matte medium, which I know seems strange because you like the shine, but it's actually not going to be matte. And then I'm using a product called Floetrol. You can get this pretty much anywhere you can get house paint. So that's a third, a third, a third. Then I'm going to be using the golden high flow acrylics. We've got a, I like, Katie and I decided we liked priming them first so uh, that if there's any part that doesn't get touched by the paint, then it's still got a nice color to it. Makes the edges um, stick better too. Yes, makes the edges stick way better, uh, especially depending on, because some adjusted surfaces are too slick as it's running down, so it's just kind of a good way to do it. Prime it with whatever you're going to be using. Um, and then we also added Liquitex Acrylic Flow Aid. Um, depending on kind of how thick the pouring additives are that you're working with, you know, might need to add a little more to make it smoother. If you're working with a thicker body paint, Katie's working, going to be working with the Matisse Flow, you're going to want to add uh, potentially quite a few more drops. So with, with mine, 
I added three to five drops per color cup, and I'm going to be using five colors. So now this is where it gets, we can get this anywhere, hardware store, Walmart, <laughs> don't put your face in it when you spray it, but it's just a silicone lubricant spray, only silicone oil. So um, you don't want to put that in the cup that you're pouring into, you want to put it in your color cups, and you don't want to mix it after you do it because it will not make for the cool little like bubble-like cells. So I'm going to hit all these with the, I learned this the hard way. I didn't hit the last All right. one. It was not good. Yeah. Okay. Cup for the dirty pour. I'm going to start with white. Leave a little bit of, I leave a little bit of color in the cup because you can always kind of add some if you see that. All right. When you do this, you don't, you want to do it from higher. You want it to kind of, if you can see in the cup, it's not all sitting on top. If you do it slower, you can actually get it to lay on the top. But with it going down inside it, it's where you get these kind of cool patterns as we do this. I'm not pouring all the blue in there quite yet. I'm going to do some of the other colors first and then come back in with the blue again. So about half of that. This is the best. Katie's color is teal. My color is the copper. I think they probably have picked up on that by now. I love my teal. Yes, you do. It's in every episode. It is. Well, copper seems like it's kind of going that route, too. So well with teal. It does. All right. I'm going to reserve just a slight bit of the copper and the gold for potentially splashing on after the fact. And you notice I'm doing this on top of my canvas just because I inevitably spill, so at least it's making good from the spills that I went down. I'm not your canvas, I just realized. You do. Oh, yeah. <laughs> it was meant to be, Katie. Yeah. All right. Ready? One, two, three. Whoa! <laughs> All right, now I'm going to take this and drip it uh, kind of just to, I don't like it when you can see the edges of the, the prime thing underneath. I'm just kind of worried about that. So I'm going to do that. You can see all these little spots coming up. That's from that silicon oil. Um, some people take it and hit it with a heat gun and they claim it's from the heat. You can blow on it. Don't you don't have to hit it with the heat gun. It's not heat that does it. It's just the movement of the air. Um, take this and pour on kind of the spots that need. Now you can also take it from down below. See, we should have had Mike tied to a chair and <laughs> we have all this gooey mess. I see him in the background getting progressively further and further away like we're gonna somehow throw it at him. I, mm. Katie's yeah, yeah. Every time we, every time. All right, Will, are we missing anything over there? Is there any part that's... Looks pretty covered. Oh, right there. Except for that spot. <laughs> Amy likes the whole thing. Yeah. All right. Okay, so while this is still wet, I'm going to, Will, if you zoom in, I'm gonna like move some this air flow cool on part. it just to pop a little bit more color up. Although I kinda like it the way it is. Mm -hmm. Okay. Is it with alcohol? Yeah. Oh, uh, yes, let's do that instead. Okay, this is just 91% alcohol. 91% isopropyl alcohol. You can see some little air bubbles starting. This is just in a spritzer. I don't want to hit it too much because where this goes, it's going to make a lot of smaller cells. See how all of a sudden there's all those little blooms of, you can see the gold through it? Blow on it. Okay, I'm going to blow on it because I don't want it to be. Huh. 
see how much that changes. It's so cool. And all without pouring medium, Katie. All right, so as this starts, it's gonna keep changing. It changes what, I guess, for several hours, uh, yeah. there'll be some change and some color shift. So, and at some point I might have to go back and just kind of spritz any air bubbles that pop up. We'll address that as we go. All right, you're using, I'm using, yeah. yeah. I like being behind the camera. <laughs> She's fine. <laughs> okay, so I'm gonna use, what we do? Mm -hmm. Elmer's glue all. And it has to be the glue all, right? It can't just be the school glue. It has to be the glue all because the glue all is a PVA based glue. And then some Gamblin PVA sizing. Which is not really, it's it's a sealer. It's not really glue, but it's a, adding a thinner PVA. It does it. And then the same thing, some of the drops that we already put in the colors and everything like that. And then, I guess I'll do it on here. I don't know which colors to do. All right. Oh, I didn't spray it. Oh, that's okay. Okay, hit him. Yep. <laughs> that's fine. <laughs> oh my gosh, it's ruined! That's the hardest part! No. Don't breathe it. Here. I'm here. Get these out of the way so you hit the thing more. Alright, hit this one more time. I'm sorry. <laughs> you can spray. I'm scared of it. I did it last time like this, trying to see what I did, and it came right back on my face, so. That's. <laughs> I'm glad you can't see Mike's face right I, now. I know. I'm trying not to look up for that reason. <laughs> okay. Two. Oh, oh no. Here you go. Just to see what happens. Yeah, yeah. Why not? There's, there's no rhyme or reason to what happens with It's this. already it's, bubbling in mine. Yeah. All right. Glue yeah. to the plate. Hold on. How much did you? Uh, I put almost all of it in there. I was surprised that it actually didn't need as much as I used. But we're gonna go for it. The nice thing about this is when you're getting used to it, you can see that okay, what's in the cup is gonna cover more than just this one. So I actually want to. We're kind of testing this at home. I did uh, multiples. Had multiples ready so that if there was extra. There's gonna be extra, well, yeah, gonna be extra. that's okay. It's gonna be on the. Ah. Oh, that's nice. I feel like I should have more up there. All right. It's good. <laughs> <laughs> Wait. You, uh, yes, so you can slide it back. Hold the go. tray. It takes a village. All right. Oh, it made like a heart. Did you see that at first? There was like a heart in there. <laughs> Olivia's laughing. I saw it. Didn't yeah. Did you? Well, see, like you can. I think see Olivia it. thought it was gonna come flying at her. Oh, that's awesome. It's amazing how much the red blended. You can see a little bit of the really saturated mm -hmm. red. Ooh. Yeah. I think the red's gonna come up. Uh huh. <laughs> You're like, Whoa. I know. I don't want to like. Wanna... No, it's fine because then it, once you pour, you know, sp spritz it with alcohol, it's gonna change. So you can do. Oh, that's nice. As soon as it does it, it stops. Right? Wait, well, and the weight of the white's gonna go lower because it's a higher. Uh... Where's the? These are oh, alcohol. Yes, sorry. <laughs> it, I ended up in my hair. It did last time. <laughs> it's heavy. Yeah, that's like one. I don't want to mess up the it? bubble. <gasps> Whoa! You got two more bubbles over here, but I hate to. I don't want to pop them here. It's like a stubborn, very stubborn. There you go. All right, and if you can't see what she did, she put, oh wow, that's cool. Mm -hmm. She sprayed the alcohol on the exacto blade just so it'll kind of pop that air bubble, but you got one more right, but yeah. Oh, that was good, it didn't. Oh, that white's wow. a little bit heavier. Hey, that's beautiful. 
Now I want to spray more alcohol on mine. <laughs> Do it. I think, well, I've noticed with the, when, when we've done the mixes with the glue all, mm -hmm. you get better, bigger cells like that. Have you noticed? Yeah. Because the ones that we did, we have, <laughs> there were so many starts and attempts and everything else that at the end of this, Will's going to pan over everything. So you can see all of the stuff that, uh, that we did kind of created. This is already starting to set up a little bit more with using the mediums. There we go. That'll come up. Not, not the right gap. What are you, are you splashing you, more? What happens if you leave the air bubbles? Um, potentially it could dry with that with little bit of kind of a, yeah, kind of a, a slight bit bubble. of a PVA veneer over it. Yeah. So, um, or if it pops, it can leave like a little. Yes. Because what usually happens is it's coming up because the weights, pig, pigments are different weights, right? So it's, it's coming up, pushing air up as a heavier pigment settling and there's lighter pigment under it. So if you notice when she did that, all of a sudden, all the color popped through. It's like it bursts that and kind of pulls it back just enough to release that lighter pigment to kind of shoot up through it. So you have to keep so, an eye on it for air bubbles. Yes, about, about the first, I think, what, five minutes or mm -hmm. so, five to 10 minutes, and then it seems like it settles well, pretty. Well, a lot of mine probably came from, because I used a little bit heavier body acrylic, so I had to mm -hmm. really kind of start it to get it in there. Mm -hmm. If you're concerned with getting all the edges, Katie, you've got some on my side. I'm going to leave the edges. Okay. The blue cool. looks really yeah, it looks I like really the blue nice popping through. through. Yeah. Yeah, it's not a necessity at all. It's just so I'm... Well, and then mine has a bunch of gold and silver in it. So as those dry, they're going to turn more... It's going to look less milky and more sparkly. Sparkly. Right, I'm going to slide this back so that it's not gluing itself to these uh, cups. Centered. All right, so moral of the story is uh, you can actually do some pretty cool pouring paintings without actually having to use pouring medium specifically. So we will list, uh, you can put in comments just mm -hmm. kind of the formulas that we used for this, right? Yep. So then you can kind of see from just if you don't want to have to mix stuff, you want to do something cool and fun and pour without playing junior chemist suddenly. <laughs> well, and that one The porcelain is awesome. Yeah. Um, we did with kids. Yes. We did with oh, some, yeah, yeah. not babies, but some younger kids, they were able yeah. to do that one just fine. Oh yeah. But uh, he, yeah, he did a great job. So yes, Katie got the entire household involved. Everybody was involved. Yeah. So that's awesome. So yeah, so we'll post those and hopefully this will be kind of like, you know, a little bit of a fireworksy fun something neat and we're sorry we're not there but we're there with you in spirit so go go have a hot dog or a brat or a hamburger and taco, taco tuesday taco night it, tacos it's are not taco the tuesday. fourth of july food mike you can get blue tortillas well, okay that's tortillas. true under this administration yeah. <laughs> <laughs> that's awful <laughs> right. happy fourth of july everybody enjoy yourselves and we'll see you next week Big smiles. <laughs> <laughs> I know, I'm like, I don't know what to do with my hands now. Yeah, no, I'm, I'm just, rather than be like, oh, hey, there's paper towels.